one of the one of the great things about the emergency room is that it's open all the time, and one of the bad things is that it's open all the time. Then the clinics have to close sometimes. But when it gets to the point where you have an illness that's not critical, you don't need to go in emergently. That's when it's really important to be able to go to, to a clinic and wait and make an appointment to be seen. There are some options where, you, where if you don't want to wait to be seen, you can go to some of our acute care clinics. We have two acute care clinics. And other clinic systems have, oftentimes have some type of an acute care uh, center also. But what's really important, uh, more than anything else, I think, when you go to one of our one of the clinics where you're already established, is that you, if, even if you can't see your primary care doctor, which is oftentimes possible if, if you make that appointment, um, you can see somebody else that can look at your records and know everything up there is about you um, health-wise. Um, when you go to the emergency room, it's basically starting from a clean slate. They don't. You know, they only know what you're able to tell them oftentimes. They might not have a prior record over there. But if you've gone to a clinic where you've already given a past medical history, social history, um, family, um, you can see what medicines you've been on before, what medicines have worked and haven't worked, um, you're that much uh, further towards finding a, a uh, proper diagnosis and a good treatment plan. The emergency room, uh, you have wonderful doctors working over there, but um, they're at a disadvantage because they don't have those records. And it oftentimes does cost more to you to go to the emergency room also. If you stick with your clinic, the copayment should be very small. The emergency room is going to be a large building that's going to be charged. And um, that's something that I think is, is needs to be thought about before you go.